President Obama gave a speech this week touting weatherization as a sexy way to save money and make the world a greener place. His audience included senators, mayors, labor leaders, and others, and he cracked jokes in between serious discussion of insulation, job creation, and clean energy. All sounds good, right? The backdrop for Obama's sexy discussion was, however, Home Depot. Yeah, that Home Depot, the big box home goods store famous for its union-busting bosses. Home Depot co-founder Bernie Marcus once referred to the Employee Free Choice Act, EFCA, the bill that would make it easier for employees to unionize as the, quote, demise of civilization. Robert Nardelli, former CEO, was a pioneer fundraiser for George W. Bush. Just a few days before jetting to Copenhagen, Obama couldn't find a small business to tout while pushing his green agenda. Home Depot wasn't just his backdrop, after all. He gave several shout-outs during the speech, saying he was with folks who play a vital role in helping America's families build strong homes. Well, imagine, this is the same president who spoke out on behalf of Republic Windows and Doors employees in Chicago, who their occupation of their factory kept the place open. How about holding the press conference there, Mr. Obama? He could have praised their energy-efficient windows and doors and their union while you were about it. Obama sent a message by supporting those union workers a year ago, and as recently as April, Vice President Joe Biden made a speech with the Sirius factory as a backdrop. I can't help but think that Obama was also sending a message by choosing Home Depot this time. Let's not think too hard about what it might be.